Hey guys, I have a toast here, and today I'm bringing you guys a tutorial on how to uh, lower a car on um, Photoshop. This is the um, photo, I don't know what actually one this is, to be honest. Um, but uh, I pay for this every month, so I get a student discount with it. So, um, But anyways, guys, this is all you're going to want to do is do File New. I'm just going to do, it doesn't matter for the pixels, because I'm going to end up cropping it anyway go to file and place and um, just find the car that you're looking for um, I just found this one on Google because I couldn't really um, find any good pictures that weren't slammed um, so yeah I'm just gonna crop this make it look um, so you don't see the background and um, what you're gonna wanna do you're gonna rasterize this and uh, you can delete the background doesn't really matter <clears throat> You're going to want to use the uh, polygonal lasso tool. You're not going to want to use the lasso or the magnetic one. Um, so basically, um, you want to start. You can zoom in, just hit control and plus. Um, and then you just want to start and slowly go across the whole bottom of the car. And then if you want to do it really good, uh, how it looks in the end you want to go a little bit slower than I am I'm just doing this for video purposes and you're gonna to want to be careful not to double click because it will select and then you're gonna to have to redo what uh, you just started doing and you're also gonna to want to go slow on the wheel right here because otherwise you'll kinda of see mine will be a little bit blocky when I uh, drop the car down pretty sure this is the stock height for this Honda S2000 because every picture I was finding was a lot lower than this and yeah so once you get all the way done with this and this is kind of the best shot angle to do it at um, because you can s it's just harder when the wheels are turned sideways or stuff and stuff like that so once you get all the whole car you're not going to have to go up this bumper over here you just can go off the page kind of uh like that and then i don't know why mine's always slow you can do that if you just want to control and zoom out not going to matter how that looks right there you're just going to want to reconnect that so this whole part is selected now. You're going to want to go to, um, or you can just hit control copy, but uh, for video I'll just do copy and then hit paste. Now you have the same exact, so I'll get rid of this. So this is what it looks like. And you just want to leave this layer. You're going to want to hit this. And then you can either tap down on the arrow or you can drag it down. But as you can see the car is getting lower. And... Um, as you can see it's a little bit if you wanted to take your time you could do a lot better over here I kind of messed up the bumper but like I said I was going a little bit faster and um, yeah you can just drag it down as far as you want obviously this is fake here but um, like this kind of looks pretty good and then you can just see how this is duplicated up here since we have the same photo right there and we drag it down just hit crop and then go to the point where you think would look good see now you can't even tell that there was two layers um, so this is the stock height and then this is the lowered height um, I guess it's a pretty cool trick to show your friends lower cars that aren't lowered to see how they would look um, but yeah that's about it for this video guys hope you guys enjoyed this if you did please leave a like and uh, let me know if you guys want to see any other Photoshop tutorials and I'll see you guys later